This week in drone news, we have four stories for you. This might be a little bit longer than usual, but we have a UK drone pilot that was fine after flying too close to a warbird. Uh, AUVSI come up with the green UAS program. We have DJI, the discontinuous aeroscope. That was a bit of a surprise. And then lastly, a campaign to raise registration limits for drone. This is a good one. Let's get to it. Before we get started, I wanted to give a big thank you to the team at Granite Defense for putting on the Texas Robotics Summit this year. Uh, we just came back from the event, which was held this week in Burnett, Texas. Uh, we get to see a lot of cool equipment. We get to fly drones. We get to drive underwater robots. Uh, we get to learn about new technology and uh, different solutions. Uh, we also get to visit with our industry friends, uh, partners, and then we even get to meet some of the students on Sunday night. So uh, this was a week well spent. Uh, we'll be posting more shorts in in the next few days and uh, we'll let you know what we saw. All right, let's get to the first story this week, which is uh, from the UK, which we don't usually talk about, but uh, we wanted to cover this one because the consequences could have been uh, pretty catastrophic. Uh, a drone pilot was fined for flying too close to a Hawker hurricane. Uh, you can see in the images playing on the screen that the drone was uh, definitely nearly pretty close to the airplane. Now, I know what you're going to say. Yes, those, uh, those pictures were done with a telephoto lens and the drone could have been in front of it. Still, it was definitely uh, a little bit too close for comfort for most people. Uh, he was actually a arrested uh, after this and, uh, and charged. Nobody actually saw this until the photographer that took pictures during the event uh, went through them. So uh, just a reminder, don't risk it. This is not worth it, especially not uh, at an air show like this where you have aircraft that are flying low and fast and uh, uh, just stay on the ground to take pictures and just enjoy the show. So don't, uh, don't be that guy, right? Your second story this week is AUVSI's new green program. Uh, no, this is not about being green vehicles or green energy. Uh, this is uh, the unmanned aircraft classification uh, that is going to go along with the Blue UAS program. Now, you may have heard of the, the DIU's Blue UAS program. Uh, green is essentially the same thing, but now validated by AUVSI instead of the Department of Defense. AUVSI's goal with the green program is that remotely piloted vehicles, uh, including UAS, are tested uh, to determine if there is any uh, kind of uh, security issues as far as cybersecurity. Now, in addition to this, uh, to becoming green, the process would actually streamline uh, the entry into the blue UAS program. Now, we're hoping that this program does not have the same restrictions as far as country of origin and that it actually uses some uh, metrics and standards to determine that a vehicle, whether it's a flying one or one on the ground, uh, complies or doesn't comply. And uh, then we can put an end to uh, all of this mess that we've seen in the last couple of years. The third story this week is a bit of a surprise. Uh, DJI decided to retire their Aeroscope program. Now, if you don't know what Aeroscope is, we're actually going to put a link right here to a video that we did uh, a year and a half ago or so uh, when we got to test an Aeroscope program. Uh, Aeroscope is a way for DJI to keep track of drones in different locations and uh, to help law enforcement and, and local authorities figure out if uh, a drone uh, that's not supposed to be there and um, and then kind of take action from here if you want. So DJI decided to discontinue uh, building the Aeroscope program. Uh, there's currently no replacement available on DJI's website, but uh, we will let you know if there is a new product or we don't know if there's a new product in place, but if uh, if that happens, we'll let you know. Now, remote, with the remote ID being around the corner, uh, much of the information transmitted by Aeroscope is duplicated with remote ID. So we wonder if this is one of the reason why they stopped um, while manufacturing these devices, but we'll definitely keep you posted. Okay, and then your last story this week is the FPV Freedom Coalition and Flight Test Community Association uh, are teaming up together to petition to the FAA to raise the registration requirements for drones and RC model aircraft from 250 gram, which is 0.55 pounds, to one, one kilogram, which is 2.2 pounds. Uh, the push is designed to help reduce the number of aircraft that would need to be compliant with remote ID, which is tied to registration requirements. Uh, this would lessen the burden to equipped unmanned aircraft, especially those that are home built. Uh, this is a push for recreational pilots uh, that, and, and would require expensive and heavy uh, tracking equipment. So we invite you to go to their website, which is raisingthelimit.org. Uh, this is put on by two of the CBOs, the community-based organizations that the FA approved. Uh, you'll find there more information about the effort and then see how you can get involved. Uh, this is something that we uh, highly recommend that you do and uh, could help everyone uh, in, the, uh, in the community, in the recreational community. And then now, in lieu of bloopers this week, let's take a look at a trailer 
trailer that we put out for our latest video because this was a fun one. So see you next week. Today, we're playing a drone search and rescue competition for the first ever Pilot Institute desk trophy. Three pilots will fly three missions to find three missing persons. Greg, your first stop, first flight. Sounds good. The truth is out there, and so is Bo, waiting for you to find him. Made it to my spot where my sleeping bag is. Your time starts now. Round one, you are searching for a lost hiker named Where I Am. Last seen around 7.30 a.m. walking in the direction of the sun. He was carrying a yellow sleeping bag. All right, drones in the air, under a minute. All right, Greg, so what's your strategy here, first flight? Well, I'm gonna split the screen between the thermal and the non-thermal in the RGB camera. All right, I'm hitting east now. I'm gonna be looking for that yellow bag. Oh, he just flew a little bit past me. How far out is he? You just passed four minutes. You've got one minute left. One minute, all right. All right, here we go. He is very close again. All right, come on, come on. 